Apple ecosystem. Ecosystem. What's it that so many Apple users keep raving about? And uh, even like me, a few weeks before, you guys also would have been wondering what's, what's so special about this that so many people keep buying Apple stuff just for the ecosystem. Well, in the last couple of days, even I started to understand what is the Apple ecosystem and all its benefits or like how the Apple enthusiasts call magic. So let's dive into the video. There are a few prerequisites or preconditions for the Apple devices to work seamlessly. And uh, the first one is the obvious one. Everything has to be with the same Apple ID. And uh, the second one is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi should be switched on. And in system preferences, you'll have to enable handoff in both the iPhone as well as your Mac. One of the basic and uh, most talked about feature is the email handoff feature. If you're using your phone to type an email and then switch to your Mac, the email icon will be waiting for you in the dock so that you can continue typing the mail from where you left in your phone. Even if you attach photos to your mail body, it instantly is waiting for you in your Mac so that you can complete it right from there. How easy is that? And the best part is it works both ways. So even if you want to type something in your uh, Mac and then quickly take your phone and continue that, you can do that. The next one is messages. All the messages, be it iMessage or SMS, would get synced to your Mac and it would show you notifications if there is a new message and you can respond to the messages directly from your Mac. This is something which I've come to like a lot. Not only messages, but even calls. Yeah, even calls can be taken directly from your Mac and you don't have to search for your phone again. If you are in a place where there's no Wi-Fi, then all you have to do is click on the Wi-Fi icon. Your iPhone will be shown there. You can select it and it will automatically switch on your phone's personal hotspot. No settings required in your phone. That is amazing. One of the features that I really, really liked was the universal copy paste. You can copy a text, URL or anything from your phone and then paste it directly onto your Mac. This can be done both ways, say Mac to phone or phone to Mac. You can copy not only text, but also images directly, which is quite awesome. And also you can insert photos or scan document and paste it directly in mails, notes or messages. The next would be AirDrop, which is one of the best feature and is a key benefit for the folks who are staying inside the ecosystem. You can instantly send files over to your Mac for editing, archiving, etc. just like that. This is something which you cannot live without if you've experienced it once. The next one would be Maps. Say if you're searching for a place in your phone and want to see more details or photos, all you have to do is switch over to your Mac. There will be a Maps icon waiting for you in the dock. Click it and it takes you directly to the place. Again, this works both ways. So when you see a place in the Apple Maps from your Mac, you can quickly take it to your phone. Just head to the App Switcher screen, you will find the maps in the bottom. This becomes very intuitive when you want to take your phone and leave to a place immediately instead of searching the place again in your phone. Okay, so your friend sends you a WhatsApp message and you open the link in your phone to view it, but you want to check the same in your computer so this always becomes a hassle as you have to either copy or send the link via mail and then open it in your computer. But here, all you have to do is just switch over to your Mac. There'll be a link waiting for you to open the content directly. And again, it works both ways too. And it's supported in the Apple Watch as well. And not just Safari, it is supported in Chrome as well. How cool is that? Your reminders and notes would automatically be synced and uh, Wi-Fi settings and any Apple accessory like AirPods would need zero configurations if it's paired with any of your Apple devices. And that's why it's very, very difficult to leave the Apple ecosystem once you've entered it. So even if I wanted to buy the Samsung S20, which looks promising, I cannot because I would be losing all these features. And unless Windows or Android does something similar, it's gonna be very difficult for the folks to move out. Even though Apple builds this huge wall around you, it still looks pretty inside. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. It's Arvind signing off. Bye-bye.